PSA is a personal call to every person to make a difference. Their motto is quite simple, you can change the world. It was launched in 2010 by Prime Media Broadcasting to promote active citizenship. That was five years ago and since that historic step, there have been many milestones. To discuss some of them, I have with me Yusuf Abramji, the founder of Lead SA. Welcome to Leading Opinion, Yusuf. Thank you very much. Great being here. Thank I you. I think congratulations is in order for the successful implementation of this vision. You are the founder. What has the journey been like for you over the last five well, years? Well, we launched Lead SA as a prime media broadcasting partnership uh, with the independent group of newspapers. It was shortly after the World Cup. Uh, you remember that we hosted the World Cup. South Africans were on a high. We mm -hmm. uh, had uh, welcomed our visitors in their thousands. And when the visitors left, we, left, we were all depressed. And that was the biggest high uh, I ever experienced in the country. Exactly. And, and, and that is why uh, in August 2010, we launched Lead SA um, not as a marketing ploy, as some people may think. Mm -hmm. It was an initiative aimed at promoting active citizenry. Mm -hmm. uh, we used the payoff line, stand up, do the right thing, make a difference. And Lead SA is not a charity, we, we're not an NGO. We simply want South Africans to come out and celebrate the good that is happening in South Africa. Mm -hmm. So you'll find Lead SA has over the past five years um, been involved in a number of activations, promoting social cohesion, promoting the philosophy of active citizenry, um, promoting our national sporting teams, uh, focusing on road safety, education and so on. And I think slowly we are making our mark. A lot of work still needs to be done. But I think the, the challenge is uh, up to every South African to stand up and to live the split of lead South Africa. And what you're doing inadvertently is you're promoting democracy, especially through active citizenship. Well, I think that's such an important point. You know, we, 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 we are very quick to complain on mm -hmm. Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, we are quick to point fingers. But have we ask ourselves the question, what can we do as ordinary South Africans to create a better South Africa? Mm -hmm. uh, many South Africans wait for Mandela Day on the 18th of July. Uh, we then put 67 minutes in and we wait for the next Mandela Day. Okay. But the philosophy is to make every day a Mandela Day. And that is what Lead South Africa tries to uh, tell the, the general public is to say, we want you to take the initiative. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, you know, we, we, we've been critical of, of government, but we've also partnered with government. Mm -hmm. And we believe it's important to keep the balance. There's so much good happening in South Africa. It's and part I think of a robust to democracy it. to be critical and to challenge each other as well. Well, I'm happy you mentioned democracy. I mean, we're celebrating 21 years of freedom. Mm -hmm. We know that every time election time comes, we ask South Africans to go and vote. Many of them do, many of them don't. And yet those, those that don't are the first ones to complain. Mm -hmm. We have the local government elections coming up next year. And we again, well, like we've done previously, call on, on ordinary citizens to say, go out, make your mark. So I think that democracy is critical and we need to promote this philosophy of, of democracy. And, and really, I mean, there are great, there's great work being done by NGOs, by charities, by individuals. And these are the many unsung heroes that we have. And that is why Lead South Africa has the monthly hero of the month, mm -hmm. uh, both for uh, the adult category and the youth category. And we want to acknowledge and recognize and even award the, the unsung heroes, and that culminates in the Lead as a Hero of the Year, which we normally announce as part of our anniversary, which will be in August every year. And how do you take your vision to the ground in terms of now encouraging people to go out and vote? How do you, how do you encourage that? Well, a lot of it is education. We, we, we luckily have media platforms on our radio stations through our print partners in the independent group and also through, to, through the general uh, other friends we have within the media fraternity to spread the message. Social media does play an important role. Um, I mean, we, 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 we often say that Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and websites can be used very, very effectively. But those platforms have become something to be reckoned with. And we're using the social media platforms quite effectively mm -hmm. to spread the philosophy of Lead South Africa. Mm -hmm. There are a number of projects that you're busy working on as an organization. But firstly, tell me, how do you run the organization to manage all these projects? Do you have a large staff complementing place? Well, I'm just you'll, you'll be surprised too when I say to you that Lead South Africa um, depends on the expertise of uh, individuals within our media group. So we have a committee from bro both the newspapers and the radio stations that meet every week. Um, and, and when I chair the, the meetings, that is when a lot of the ideas are born. And we use the expertise that we have within our media organizations. We have uh, three full-time staff members 
who are tasked with promoting the philosophy of Lead South Africa. And, and on average, we get about possibly about 50,000 proposals every year. Wow. Uh, we get hundreds of thousands of comments and feedback from members of the public on an ongoing basis. And uh, we try to respond to as many as we can. And, and many of the NGOs and people want us to partner with them. Mm -hmm. um, we would love to partner with everyone, but unfortunately we can't. We have limited inventory on our, sure. on our media platforms. Uh, but we try to, 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 to encourage the NGOs to really take up the cudgels and, and lead the way. Mm -hmm. You don't need Lead South Africa to tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. We want you to do it. And wherever possible, we'll try to promote the, the sure. good work that, that has been done. Because what I wanted to ask you was, who are the key stakeholders that are actually, you know, in a, working in association with Lead SA because of this, this huge program you have in place, all these projects <coughs> that you have in place? Well, the key stakeholders are the ordinary men and women, the youth of South Africa. People who, who are out there doing their good. People who are sharing their stories. Um, we, we, we know that uh, a lot of companies uh, do great CSI work, which we need to support and encourage. But it's the ordinary people of South Africa uh, who must take note and, and see how they can make a difference. And I think it begins with your morals and your ethics. And I'll give you a good example. Um, a few weeks into Lead South Africa's launch in 2010, um, a mother was driving with the two children in, in Ravonia Road in, in St. In Johannesburg, and the child through the back window threw a rapper out of the window. And the elder brother who was uh, sitting there but said, didn't you listen to the radio this morning? Lead South Africa said, don't litter. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a type of difference that we, we, we can be, be making. Sure. Um, very soon we'll be having a, a, a national cleanup day in partnership with the city of Johannesburg. We want to create the philosophy of active citizenry to say, come out and volunteer. Because I think volunteerism is something that we need to really focus on. Mm -hmm. To say how many hours per month can I put into helping a charity in, my, in mm. my neighborhood? How many hours can I help my neighbor who might be in need and so on? And how do you target local communities for that volunteer program? Well, we, we do go out. We, 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 we're quite active in schools. We've got a partnership with the Houting Department of Education. We go to schools. We, we talk to learners. We have the Bill of Responsibilities, which is a document produced uh, in, in line with our constitution to promote uh, good behavior, morals and ethics. Um, and we expect the, 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 the children also then to take the message to, the, to their homes. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think good progress has been made. The lead essay message has filtered through to many corners of South Africa, but we still have a lot of work to do. And we want to tell the ordinary members of the community, it's your initiative. We want mm -hmm. you to, to take up the call to action, which is on the leadsa.co.za website. Um, and that is where we're saying to the ordinary people that you can make a difference in your own community, in your own family, and you can actually lead South Africa. And you mentioned a, a very simple example just now, but it's all the little things that makes a difference in the long run. But you're also involved in programs like, you know, um, uh, spreading the awareness of promoting literacy and leadership development programs and raising issues around xenophobia, social issues as well. So there's quite an extensive number of projects and that you're working on Indeed, right now. Indeed, you know, so very often we are driven by what happens um, within, within the country. And recently with the xenophobic attacks, uh, we immediately started a, a campaign to say no to xenophobia. We had a night vigil at Constitutional Hill that attracted tens of thousands of people to spread the message. Uh, Child Protection Week, which was marked uh, towards the end of May. We focused on missing children together with Crimeline, uh, which, uh, which I'm part of. Um, we, we also looked at Africa Day, which was celebrated in May. We created the messaging, a uh, lot of social media messaging. And, and a lot of the messaging is driven around what happens in the country. And I think it's important for us to really tackle the main issues facing us as a community, as a country. Whether it is crime, which is a big problem, uh, whether it is social issues, which are a problem, whether it is poverty, whether it is education. Mm -hmm. uh, government calls them uh, challenges, we call them problems. And I think it's important for us to really stand up and, and while we acknowledge there's a problem, while we point fingers and complain, which is our democratic right, mm -hmm. we have to ask ourselves the question, what can we do to create and to improve the situation, to improve, uh, to take a problem and see how we can solve it. And really, I think the spirit of South Africans has been amazing. Mm -hmm. When we called recently um, on the community in Cape Town to help with, um, uh, with fundraising for the firefighters that were uh, very actively involved during the Cape Town fires, uh, within 12 hours, some 4 million rand was raised. Uh, 
So South Africans normally dig deep into their pockets. And really, we, we're finding that more and more South Africans are taking up the, the call to say, I'm rolling up my sleeves, I'm spending the Saturday at an old age home, I'm helping my local community police forum, I'm involved in the uh, orphanage in my area, I'm involved in a feeding scheme, I'm collecting blankets for winter and so on. And I think when, when we hear people sharing these good stories with us, mm. it is exactly what Leeds South Africa has been calling for, is to say, take up the challenge and do something good that can create not only a better South Africa, a better continent and a better world. Sure. Just one last question for you, Yusuf. You have a project called Rhino Conservation. How is this making a difference? Because this is a huge national and international challenge right now. Well, the rhino problem we know is a, is a, is a national crisis. When, when the problem became, came to the fore some years ago, shortly after Leeds South Africa was launched, we formed what we call the RAGE Committee, the Rhino Action Committee, where the committee which comprises of representatives from government, NGOs, South African national parks, has been very active. They've done fundraising, they've invested some of the money in the fight against rhino poaching. Mm -hmm. I, I've been in contact and I'm, I'm regularly in contact with the Minister of Environmental Affairs, Edna Molewa, because... Very often when we speak about the rhino problem, mm -hmm. our critics say to us, it's a problem only affecting white people. And I find that very insulting because the rhino problem is not only a problem for one specific uh, section of the community. It's about our country. It's about our heritage. It takes and a huge human toll as well on absolutely. lives. Absolutely. And that is why um, under the crime line banner, we, we're offering rewards of up to a million rand with the South African National Parks to get the organized crime syndicates uh, arrested, mm -hmm. uh, to get the poachers arrested. And some strides have been made, but I think it's a major it problem. It feels that we like need it's to a losing battle right now. It is, it is a losing battle. The latest figures show that the numbers are going up. Um, and I think it's something that we need to embrace. And I'm happy that a number of NGOs, corporates have come to the party to invest money. Mm -hmm. And I think we all need to really see. So finance we can is a challenge a right now. Well, well finance is a challenge, although government has the money. I think there needs to be a, a multifaceted approach to fighting the, the, the poaching problem. But it's very sad when you look at pictures and footage of the carcasses of this mm -hmm. rhino and how these poachers really just kill the rhino just for their horn, which they sell to the markets in, in the Far East um, on, the, on, the, on the myth that uh, it can make a difference and heal people. And I think we need to spread this message to say to them that, um, do you realize that there's absolutely uh, zero benefit in any of this mm -hmm. rhino horn, but the, the, the criminal syndicates are the problem. That's it. Thank you so much for your time. It was such an inspirational chat and keep up the great work. All the thank best with the endeavours and, and it depends on all of us as well to get thank you very our hands much. And dirty. We, we hope to and make uh, every day a Mandela Day and let's all work together and create a better South Africa and it's up to every one of us to continue to lead South Africa. Absolutely. Very, very powerful message. Thank you again. Thank you very much.